Welcome to Friendly and Daisy Podcast, a podcast all about, well, you know, Daisy. This is a 10 minute snippet of one of our recent interview episodes with probably one of your favorite streamers. Otherwise, you know, YouTube algorithms and stuff, why are you here? There's a like button down the bottom. If you press it, I promise magic happens. That's probably a bad promise. Anyway, enjoy the episode. Links to the full episode are in the description. Until next time, love you lots. Good morning. Oh, I think you can hear me, yeah? I can hear you loud and clear. Hello. Yeah, morning. You all right? <laughs> yeah, good. And you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've been up a little while. I've already been doing some stuff, reviewed a video draft and stuff. So yeah, I'm, at least I'm awake, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you there? I'm always here. I'm always here. I'm just lurking. Hello. You're right. So, how are you doing? So how does it, how's it going? Like this, this is like, how do, how many people listen to a podcast? You know, I've no idea. I should know, shouldn't <laughs> I? But I don't, I don't know. It's, well, it's going all right. It's, it's, you know, we've got a, a nice little community going on and we've got our regulars and we do like, we, we stream every now. I think we stream like once a week or whatever, just to get that interaction with the, yeah. with the people. And we just chat, really, that's pretty much what we do. We're very uh, loose with our, <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, we're not strict at all. <laughs> we do it for the love of it, mate. That's what we do. No worries. Well, yeah, I'm ready when you are. Oh yeah. Right. You ready, Dave? I'm always ready. I'm always ready. Stretching off. <laughs> Okay, don't tell me where you're straight. It's lucky we're not on camera, right? <laughs> yeah, it's lucky. Yeah, <laughs> prepare yourself for jokes. I'm sure you. I'm sure you're not above that, Paul. <laughs> uh, it's fine. <laughs> he loves. He loves a good old peen joke. As long as I'm not below it, it's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, let's do. A, I've got an icebreaker ready. It's not the. It's not the craziest icebreaker. However, let's go. What's the strangest thing you've eaten? <sighs> you're asking me to have any kind of memory. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, I ate I ate bugs when I went to the Daisy thing in May, like um, oh, like yeah. flavored millipedes oh. and whatnot, or whatever they were, like those little worms and stuff. So I ate that. I don't. I'm not very adventurous. I don't like fish and like seafood and stuff. I, I've so they're probably that the little bugs and stuff. I did have an MRE pack on that as well, like a proper MRE pack. That's the most cool thing I've ever eaten. It was really really cool, like a a proper MRE pack where you're heating it up with the little, uh, you put it the in water. a little bag and then it, yeah, it sort of heats up the water and stuff. That was kind of cool. I'd never even seen one before, but yeah, that that's probably the most interesting thing. Both Daisy related. That's kind of sad, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. That's why we're here, man. That's why we're here. <laughs> I've got another one for you to gauge a person, Paul, to gauge a person. Pineapple on pizza? Yep. I I uh, I like fruity pineapple. I, I like fruity pizzas. So if I'm getting an American style pizza, you know, like a deep sort of one, yeah. like a, like a, from Domino's or something, I like sort of veggie type pizzas and pineapple on it is fine by me. Yeah. So uh, so I don't care if you don't like it or not. <laughs> it works for me. So yeah. If I was in Italy, I wouldn't have pineapple on a pizza. But if I'm getting a takeaway pizza from Papa John's or something, mm. it's fine by me. Yeah. I was in Italy ah. a few years ago and. Uh, the, one of the best pizzas that I had out there it had aubergine and uh, oh, yeah. purple broccoli. Aubergine. What's the American for aubergine? They call it something else. Eggplant. 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 Yeah. D- there you go for the worldwide listeners. There's yeah. a, there's one for you. That's an emoji for you. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, my favourite pizza I ever had was in Italy. It was in near Lake Missouri, and it was done for tourists. And it's like on mm. the border with Switzerland, and it was just like a fairly plain pizza, and it had like some kind of German sausage, like sliced horizontally so they were like long thin strips oh. of pizza it was amazing it was so good it's the i'd love to have that pizza again it was like orgasmic <laughs> <laughs> okay cool well there we go sorted bugs basically was the answer yeah <laughs> uh yeah bugs it's kind of boring but i i I'm not really one for eating strange things. I yeah. That's not boring. Who's eating? Uh, uh, well, I say who's eating bugs. I had cockroach in France, which you is had cock um, in France. My yeah, I did. Place. Yeah, cock uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had a uh, cockroach in France. They taste like bacon. It was like crispy. It, it was actually something you bought. It wasn't just from your hotel room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you... I just found that. He's just got like a bag of sweets. People have skills. Andy has bugs. Yeah. That sounds horrible. They say it's the future, right? They say it's the future, like like the, the food of the future. Like with like, uh, but the population's meant to be going down, so maybe we won't have to eat bugs anymore. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe just uh, we have to resort to some human fruit. Yeah. Well, you're human lucky fruit. you ate American um, MREs actually in Prague because the British ones are not as nice. Uh, so were you in the army? Were you? Yeah, yeah, twelve yeah, and a half so years. That makes sense. Yeah, they they were uh, they were pretty good actually. There was like all sorts of lovely stuff in there, little bits of fruit and nuts, and it was kind of cool. It was good. It yeah, needed the, it as well. 
the British one, one of them, our main dish, the one that you'd pull out all the time, it was we used to call it corned beef gash because it is horrible, but it's corned uh, beef hash. That, that <laughs> <good. happen. laughs> I reckon it's corned beef back from the war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your horrible bowels. <laughs> the service and suffering. Yeah. Oh right, so we get this, we've got this this uh, podcast set up in a couple of sections, right? I remember you sent me like a list of things that might come up, and the last time I saw that was when I saw it when you sent it. <laughs> so so uh, it, this is all blind. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Uh, we, however, to get through because you've had such a long and prosperous career in Daisy and as a content creator, mm. I'm going to fire off some quick fire questions for you, and I just want you to answer them as quickly as honestly as possible. Okay. Ready? Yep. They're not all Daisy related, though. Sure. Cheesecake or chocolate cake? Uh, chocolate cake. Scout or SSG? Scout, if you can get a suppressor for sure. Oh, I never thought. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's so much better if you can get it, but you can't. But you nah. can. But you can't. But you can. But you can't. <laughs> it's, it's there. Plus it's a there. mag, plus an ACOG, you know. Yeah, yeah. Summer or winter Cherno? Chernerous. I'm uh, going to get bullied for that now. Uh, re- yeah, d- don't say Cherno. God, it makes me <laughs> sick in my mouth. <laughs> I, I do it occasionally. No, I, I, I'm going to say regular Chernerous is the best Chernerous. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on stream? <sighs> There's countless many. Uh, the other day I was uh, shot like red health and I went prone to uh, to avoid shots that were coming over my head and I was just being covered by the tiniest ridge of land and I had like seven grenades so I was laying prone and I, I got a grenade and I unpinned it and I was like in my head at the time I was like I've got to throw this a long way I've got to throw it a long way I'm going to stop him from running towards me this is going to work and so I, instead of uh, tapping G and then holding trigger oh. to charge the throw I held G yeah. <laughs> and it dropped on my chest and blew me up so that was like a week ago but That's there's countless trick. examples of that I, that I've is done- my trick Man. There's so many of those. That's the most recent one. But to be honest, they go in one ear and out of the other. Like when <laughs> I first started streaming, I'd have been like a bit like, oh God, how do I look? It's so stupid. But at some point, fairly alone in streaming, that you realize that you're the butt of all the jokes, right? So it doesn't matter at all. Like, you, you're the butt of all the jokes, right? So if you kill yourself in a stupid way, who cares? You know, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for, it's for chat, you know, doing it for chat. Doing it for the vibe. Yeah, or you can just blame chat like like trade streamers always do. Including <laughs> me. It's definitely just chat's fault, you know. Scale of 1 to 10, how badly do you miss Capri pants? Uh, nine. I I used to wear them all the time. Mm. Yeah, nine. Nine. I, I think it's a shame. A, a bit of a serious post, but all of the survival stuff that's come uh, in terms of like needing heat, heat uh, clothing, like having mm. to wear best in class to survive, makes cool survival mechanics, but it does make everyone a homogenized mirror image of each other when and they're fully geared you know yeah. i kind of miss a little bit of that you could wear some cool stuff because you could just wear some cool stuff and stand out rather than looking like action man but <laughs> that's kind of gone a little bit you know agreed i think that was a moment that was like a, a defining era of daisy <laughs> yeah maybe you tune in and you'd always well you just always have capri pants on that would be it that would just, yeah that was i did like it, it. That was, they, were, they were good they were a good look you know uh, or a or a nurse's dress at the northwest <laughs> airfield and no trousers one or the other <laughs> Which musical artist could you never get bored of? Jarvis Cocker, as in Pulp. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, to him for sure. Like, I, I really like indie and that kind of music, but his lyrics and just the timing of a couple of the albums and how I was at the time, they, they for me. And his lyrics are beautiful. You know, like there's a there's a lyric in one of his songs. I think he did a uh, as a solo artist. There's something like, if your ancestors are stand, saw you standing there, they'd gaze in wonder at your frigid air. You know, that his lyrics are just beautiful. You know, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Poetic. The most annoying thing other players do in game. Play music would probably oh, yes, be the one. Yes, play, play music. Yeah. There's many, but playing music is just like, <laughs> I, I got a, an entire YouTube stream copyright struck the other day because of some idiot playing about 15 seconds of music. It's uh, like nine uh, hours long, you know, it's so annoying. Did you uh, ever get that, your live streams kept getting struck because of your intro, right? Do you remember the the moving? Yeah, it's not been sorted out. It's uh, Universal Music Group and it's some crappy video. Yeah. I can't sort it out. I, I tried to play it. So it's actually the video. It's not the song. That's it. They're yeah. copyright striking the video, but it's a canned intro that anyone can use. You can pay a license to adjust it mm. they have someone's made them a video and they're copywriting striking my one and they don't own it either you know it's yeah. free to use across the whole of youtube but <laughs> that's insane yeah, I, I just can't use my own intro at the moment i've been considering copyright striking them back but it won't go well they're <laughs> like a, a multinational conglomerate yeah. and yeah I, don't, I think probably just not use it because i suggested that to you on twitter i sent you the i think i sent you a screenshot of one of my copyright strikes <clears throat> And um, it saw the difference where mine was for audio and yours was for video. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
and uh, as I said, just copyright strike them back. And uh, <laughs> but I, I get the reason not to. It has occurred. To, I, I nearly did it the other day. I'm still working up the courage. But like that, their video came out in May, and I've been using this intro for seven years on Twitch, yeah. and I've been using it on YouTube since November of last year. So mm-hmm. I've got plenty of evidence of me using it before them. Mm-hmm. But they don't. They don't know what they're doing. Nah. The YouTube bot is saying I'm using it, and they're just blankly copyright striking it. They don't know what can at. And I've tried to message them. I've tried to email them. They don't care. It's just all automated. They're not, no one no human is involved it just means yeah. i can't use my own intro you know? yeah no emotions involved man no no it's just the the man in it the the man well, yeah, us. the whole the whole copywriting system was set up to